we're just getting ready to set off for the day taking the canopy down and Pete's having a look down the weed hatch did you find anything? Yeah, it's all clean and shiny. You can see it yourself if you want. Perfect. What a beautiful propeller. Okay. Okay. if you don't tighten it properly then the water can get in and flood the uh, bilge and sink the boat and sink your boat I switched over the tall chimney for the short one so when we're going under bridges where are we going we're heading to barrow on saw via loughborough so we're stopping loughborough for some water uh, should be about what, three four hours something like that Reasonable. Four locks, I think, Four isn't it? Locks. Yeah. Should we go all behind? And we were just passed by Josh Taylor's. and Diane and Andy on Taylor's aboard. Yeah. So we're hot on their heels as well. If you've watched any of our latest episodes, you'll see that we've been travelling with Paul and Anthony from YouTube channel Now About Life Unlocked. We're on a 160 mile journey with 107 locks down to the Quick Boat Show at the end of May. We're in book three of the Nicholson's Guides. They're the map books we use to navigate while we're cruising. In this episode, we'll be leaving Zoch, thanks to that local viewer that corrected my pronunciation last time, and then over the page and cruising down through Loughborough and turning left from the River Saw onto the Grand Union Canal, Leicester Line, and on to Barrow upon Saw, where we moor for the night.
gardens and houses backing onto the river here. It's not setting our sail because they've just been through, so I'm just emptying the lock, ready for us to go in. So we're 
just down the way so we're just going to head for that one instead be on the Grand Union Canal, the Leicester line of the Grand Union. If we went straight on there we'd get to uh, the Loughborough Basin, Loughborough Wharf. Over there to the left of the pub, but 
there's a sign above it saying water point not in use so we're gonna cross it out in our Nicholson's guide do drive every now and again and a very good job you're doing too. And we're coming up for a bridge. Yeah, you've got it, it's okay. It's got that mark on the bridge so I know where to go. Oh, it's the camera shaking. <laughs> we're just approaching Pillings Lock and we think we're just going to push the gates open and the paddles are just left up and we've got a sign saying navigation open, no red flashing lights so we're good to go. So we've left the lock open, this uh, is a 
trip boat um, with the, the company that we've just passed, Peter, Peter Lamartin Trust, I think. One of their volunteers um, is manning the lock now. She, she was telling me she's made 120 cream teas in the last three days for the people on board. Um, and they provide trips for people with disabilities, um, mental health issues, long-term sick, all sorts of people. And they take them out on day boats. And we've just had people singing one day more to us. And we always say we give them extra points for singing and knowing that our boat name is for Blame is Arbor. and uh, just beyond this lot landing there's some arm car and there's space for two boats so we're going to pull in there and stop for the night and it's only a five minute walk to the navigation pub
you looking at, Poppy? Are you looking for squirrels? Join us next time for some very different scenery as we cruise through Leicester. We help a boat that's stuck in a lock and as always we're on the hunt for good cake. They've been trying to get through this lock for the last two and a half hours. Are we going to get cake? No. But we need cake. Thank you so much to everybody that supports our channel through Buy Me A Coffee and YouTube Super Thanks. We really appreciate you. And hit the thumbs up and give us a like if you've enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's totally free. When I stayed on home, I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. I saw you